Danny, a, a big, big away win, uh, a classic away performance, a 2-1 a win. Uh, you must be absolutely delighted to get those points on the board. Yeah, I'm very pleased this evening, Ollie. Uh, massive congratulations to the players. I felt they gave absolutely everything for myself and Welling United Football Club to a man, uh, each and every one of them. So, yeah, a, a, certainly a, a good a good uh, afternoon. It was fully deserved as well, wasn't it? It all got a bit mad there towards the end with two goals in injury time and also we didn't really show reflection. We were probably deserving of a clean sheet, weren't we? And that's, it's a shame we didn't get that. But that second goal from the new man, uh, Bunya Alamanji as well, he's made, made a difference coming off the bench in the second half. So all these little pieces of the puzzle that have been coming to go together over the last couple of weeks seem to be uh, coming to fruition. Let's hope so, Ollie. It's been a tough time, uh, you know, I've... You know, we've been working really hard and I must say a massive thanks to Gary Fury who stepped up to be my assistant manager. You know, I asked that, I really do want to stress that. Gary Gary stepped up, massive thanks to my own son, Teddy Bloor. You know, he's really worked hard for me, uh, which is fantastic and great to get a couple of the academy coaches, Reese and Tom, with us this afternoon as well. Uh, yeah, it, it, it's, it's, it's been coming, isn't it? I think our last away win was at Tombridge and I think I think I had suntan lotion on them, whereas it's bitterly cold this evening. So, yeah, uh, certainly a good day uh, and I really would like to thank the Welling United fans. They've stuck by me through thick and thin and let's hope we can have a few more good times. David Kamara on the score sheet again as well. You must be really pleased that one of the academy lads has just, just turned 18 in December, making a difference and he seems to be getting more confident game by game, doesn't he? Yeah, listen, David, you know, I go, whatever happens in my managerial career and David's football career, I'm the manager who gave him his debut and I'm immensely uh, proud of David. I know all the academy staff have worked really hard for him and he's got such a winning attitude I don't quite understand why the referee booked him or myself today, but let's, we'll take that this evening and uh, it's certainly uh, an enjoyable uh, trip to uh, Hemel Hempstead. Just not as well on it, but there were a couple of moments, uh, questionable moments, perhaps potentially could have had a penalty in the first half. That incident where David seemed to have been kicked out when he got booked uh, and again when he was fouled when he was clean through uh, in the second half. Did you have a view on those? I mean, luckily they didn't, didn't have a bearing on the game. Listen, the last time we saw this ref, Callum Fisk, was when we beat Yeovil, so I'm not going to moan, even though I'll get a little fine for that and let's hope we got him next Saturday. And a word for the lads at the back as well. Joe's come in. He's, uh, it's his second game today. Uh, a real rock. Uh, the lads defended really astutely back there. So, again, um, how important is that going to be for the, for the running? Well, we're saying running. We're not quite at the running, but a couple of months left of the season. How important is that going to be that, he, that saw, he plays his part? I saw a couple of occasions today. He knows how to manage the game, doesn't he? And I, I think he's massive. And both on and off the pitch, he stepped up to be one of my player coaches now as well. So, yeah, um, certainly applaud it's all round this evening. But let's not get too carried away. We can enjoy this Saturday evening. January the 27th but it won't, don't give us long we have to dust ourselves down back to Parkview Road on Tuesday a tough game against Hampton and Richmond How much confidence does that give us going into, into that game on Tuesday because it is about picking up points isn't it and, and re- reflecting what we've seen today on home turf under the lights Well it certainly can't do us any harm can it you know it's better than coming off the back of defeats but you know I just felt the boys seem to have a desire uh, a determination to get the job done As far as uh, any knocks or anything today TJ Bramble looked like he limped off at the end there but was that just a, just a little bit at the end I just think it was a little bit fatiguing all honesty Ollie. so yeah uh, we look forward to enjoying this evening and then going again uh, next week cheers Danny well cheers done. guys thank you